my name's Matthew Hayhurst. I'm an architect working for Foster and Partners Nottingham. I studied at the University of Nottingham, graduating in 2007 with distinction and a nomination for the President's Silver Medal. I have a wealth of experience across a broad range of sectors, both internationally and in Nottingham. I believe that good design can positively impact people's well-being. I have a love of post-war brutalist architecture, as well as a lifelong passion for music. My favourite bands include Joy Division and The Smiths. <laughs> Wait, hang on, hang on a fucking second. Wait, no, no, that isn't me. Actually, no, sorry, sorry, no, that is the bio, actually, of this guy right here. who don't know him, um, this is Matthew Hayhurst. Uh, I am also Matthew Hayhurst. Hi. <laughs> now, unfortunately for this Matthew Hayhurst, this Matthew Hayhurst is the first Matthew Hayhurst that comes up when you type in Matthew Hayhurst to Google. Or Bing, this guy knows, this guy gets it. Um, unfortunately for this Matthew Hayhurst, has been used on every piece of promotional material for this gig. <laughs> Unfortunately for this Matthew Hayhurst, he is fucking livid because he's not even well known enough to have his own photo stolen from the internet without his consent. This Matthew Hayhurst is some poor fucker in Nottingham doing architecture, blissfully unaware he's supposed to be making his stand-up debut in Soho right now. <laughs> Whereas this Matthew Hayhurst is even more fucking livid than he was before because he fucking hates the Smiths. <laughs> Good times for a change. Shut up! Okay, okay, okay. If there's one group I hate more than the Smiths, it's architects. <laughs> Look at me, I do Lego and I do sex. Grow up! <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, no, but genuinely, I'm fucking seething. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, right? I'm just saying. I don't think this would happen to one of the big comedians like Mr. Bean. <laughs> or Borat. <laughs> like, I honestly think this is my 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want something? This is fucking delicious, by the way. Very nice, more for me. <laughs> I'm just saying, right, I'm doing my next bit now. Is doing his GCSEs at the moment, and it can be like a really stressful time for young people. Like, there's a lot of mental health issues that go. On. I'm sorry, I just really want this to go viral. <laughs> I just really want to be one of the virus comedians who does like the, I just, like the crazy frog. This guy gets it. <laughs> this guy gets it. Or, or Mr. Bean. Um, so my little brother's doing his GCSEs at the moment, and it can be a really tough time for young people. It can be really stressful. It's totally fine for him, though, because he's not real, and I've just made him up for this next bit. <laughs> um, but one of the ones he's doing is GCSE drama. And he came up to me the other day, right, and he was like, Matt, mate, I'm well struggling with choosing what monologue to do for me GCSE drama, like. He might be Geordie, who knows? Again, I literally made him up for the purposes of this. Um, so I said to him, don't worry about it, Darren. Pff, mate, who knows? Uh, I will write you the perfect GCSE drama monologue, guaranteed to get you an A star. So I'd like to do it for you guys now. It's called Trauma Brackets Grief. Uh, <laughs> sing along if you know the words. <sighs> I just come back from the war. Was it Nam, Rack, Ermini? <laughs> I didn't even know anymore. Nor give a crap. You know, some people said the war would be too much for a nine-year-old lad like me, but I've been around the block enough times to know my ass from my elbow. <laughs> I'm going to do this for a while. I've got three minutes of material. This is a ten-minute set. <laughs> Who, me? Me, I'm just another rough lad from up north. You've probably read about us on the news, but I'll bet you've never actually seen us. Usually works that. I'd just come back from the war, but there was a worse war going on at home. A war more warlike than any war anyone had ever seen before. This war was a pandemic. One word social media. <laughs> yeah. My girlfriend had gotten herself addicted to this new pandemic, so I told her to take off her mask. She said, But I'm not wearing a mask. 
asked her, I said, yes, you are. Yes, you are. You've been wearing one this entire time. And she was pregnant. <laughs> Heavily. Which would have been fine if it wasn't for all the smack we were taking. That's weed to the uninitiated. <laughs> you know, maybe if people spent a little less time on their cell phones, small now, and a little more time on their cell. <sighs> Seven minutes left. <laughs> I just come back from the war. I kept thinking about this old Norse proverb my mom used to say to me. Gergir at pat ifir, kri holler at pat verda. You know, sometimes I wish she hadn't have been shot in that car crash. <laughs> but then she did used to hit dad pretty hard. I just come back from the war, bro. It's like my daughter once said to me, she's three, by the way, and she's the only thing that matters to me. <laughs> to live is to suffer. To survive is to find some meaning in that suffering. Well, I just hope to hell she can find some meaning in this crazy, messed up world. Because I sure as hell can't. I just come back from the war. The microphone's gone now. Where did I go wrong? I lost a friend. It's a big gun. Somewhere along in the business, it's bad pills. Well, I would have stayed up with you all night. It's a good day now. Had I known how to save my wife. No, but you really should check out the Borat film. It's really funny. <laughs> Do you get the feeling you're just wasting your life? I mean, the Beatles had broken up a year after they're the age I am now. To be fair, I did watch all nine Fast and Furious films in 24 hours the other day, which is very impressive, but <laughs> it's not quite the same as writing Hey Jude, is it? I just think, I just think I'm wasting my life. This fucking cunt doesn't even fucking look like me! That's it. I quit. I'm quitting live comedy forever. Or at least until the next time says, hi, you're quite funny. Um, you should do try stand-up. I quit. This is it. I'm, I'm done forever. I'm going to pursue the one thing that I truly, truly love. Doing architecture in Nottingham. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night. Forever. Let's vote Trump out of the next election.